Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and you are here at My Feather Nest. So I love Christmas. Um, it's I wouldn't say that it's my favorite holiday, to be honest with you. I think now that I have gotten older, to be honest with you, I think my favorite holiday is actually Thanksgiving. I don't know. I think, um, I think because you kind of get like the end of the fall season, which I love fall. I love the colors of fall. I love the ambiance of fall, the aesthetic of fall. But you also are kind of at the very beginning of like the whole Christmas, the Christmas vibes and the Christmas aesthetic. So I don't know. I just, there's not a lot of pressure for Thanksgiving besides of course what you're going to have for dinner. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I just think it's more and more, I'm just liking Thanksgiving the best. But I do love Christmas and I love to decorate and I love to decorate for Christmas. So I am going to show you, this will be number one of the Christmas season for My Feather Nest. Um, this is going to be a haul. A lot of the things were from the thrift store, but I do have a couple brand new items that I want to show you guys. I'll talk to you a little bit about my possible plans um, for how I'm going to decorate and when I'm going to be decorating. So if you are interested in finding out some of the things that I purchased, Stick around. All right, guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump into this one. So if you watched my recent, my most recent thrift store haul, I talked to you guys about a yard sale that I had went to and I showed you a couple of Jim Shore figurines that I picked up from that yard sale. So I also mentioned in that video that I had picked up some other things that were more related to Christmas and I wanted to show them to you guys in this video and I wanna tell you the price. I scored so big. If you don't know who Jim Shore is, you guys will have to look him up. He makes a lot of beautiful little figurines and stuff like that. I am brand new to him as far as, I've, I've heard of, obviously I've seen him for a while. I've seen his collections for a long time, but I have never purchased anything. I've always thought they were really pretty, but it just, it just never worked out for me to um, purchase anything. So when I went to this yard sale, I kind of loaded up a little bit. So let me show you what are some of the things I purchased. The lady she happened to have, um, I showed you in the last video, the pilgrims that I picked up. And then I also got these two carolers. It is a, I like to call them the mom and dad, and I'll show you why in just a second. So look how beautiful these are. The colors in these pieces are just always so brilliant and so beautiful. The detailing is unbelievable. I just think they are so sweet. And so mom and dad caroler. And then we've got daughter and son caroler. Look how cute these are. These colors are just like I said, they are unbelievable. Now these were, they came in their original boxes. I have the tags and everything for them. They are absolutely pristine condition. You know, whether the lady that had them before actually had them out, I don't know, but they literally look brand new. Um, and I believe these are all from 2006. So I got those, the set of four carolers. And then I'm actually gonna take you off of the tripod to show you the next thing that I purchased. And this was by far my favorite. Hey guys, so here it is. This is the Jim Shore Nativity. And isn't it absolutely beautiful? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This angel right here is probably not officially a part of the nativity. I just kind of, um, she was just kind of a random thing that I picked up at that particular yard sale. But every nativity that I've ever had, I usually have some type of an angel. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to use her as the angel for the nativity. But look how pretty. I don't think she's a part though, because look, she has like a, um, a trowel in her hand and like, that pot of plants. But um, she is from, it's called Heartwood Creek by Jim Shore and she is from 2002. Okay, so let's look though at this nativity. So there's Mary and Joseph. There's a shepherd, look at baby Jesus. There's a little sheep, a little donkey and then I've got the three wise men. And just look at the look at the beautiful detailing. It's got the beautiful star. And then you can see here where the the angel with her trumpet or his trumpet. 
and then there's shepherds in the field and how the wise men are traveling. It, it like tells a little story, you know, and also on the front of the shepherd. Just, I just think this is so cute. And then of course it came with the, the, um, the stable. And I love this. I love the colors in this. It's very, very nice, bright colors. So beautiful. So you guys, I was able to get the set of four carolers, the angel, um, the whole nativity and the two pilgrims that I shared with you guys in the last thrift haul. I got all of it for $50. And like I said, every single one of these pieces came with the original Jim Shore box with the original Jim Shore tags. And I know some of them still had like the original price tags on them from wherever the person purchased them from. And like, I remember on some of them, there was like $30, $25, $30, you know, it was just, so for $50 for me to pick up all of those Jim Shore pieces, I just could not pass that up. I just think they are so beautiful. So um, that's it as far as figurines go. Now I'm gonna show you this next thing, which I picked up at the thrift store and I want you to use your imagination. <laughs> so um, yeah, just, just use your imagination with this one. So we were at a thrift store and I happened to see this huge Santa Claus. And now he doesn't have a body or anything like that. So it's just Santa Claus's head and he's got these cute little glasses on. He's more of a country rustic type of Santa Claus. His, his beard and hair is really like this rough raffia feeling type of material, but he has his little toy bag that he's kind of holding. And um, he was only $9.50. But I also picked up this huge wreath. Now this wreath, I think the wreath was like $14. There's probably a tag on it somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but um, the wreath itself, the reason why I picked it up is because the size of it is really nice. It's a really nice big wreath. I will of course be deconstructing all of the florals out of it. I possibly will use some of these florals though because the green poinsettias are really, really pretty. Um, there's like some red sparkly berries on there, but you see the size of it. Well, here's where I want you to use your imagination. I purchased this wreath and this Santa Claus because my idea is to craft up a wreath using both of these thrifted pieces. You can see that, I don't wanna hold it up because obviously I don't have it attached, but the wreath is the perfect size for this big, huge Santa Claus. And so I'm going to attach the Santa Claus to the wreath. I'm going to rework the ribbon, rework, probably put different ribbon in there, maybe some different um, ornaments and some different floral picks. I'm planning on filling the toy bag up with some little wrapped boxes, probably done up in more of a country style wrapping paper. And so I really think this is going to be a super, super cute wreath. So I don't really so much decorate in the country theme. Actually, my daughter, Olivia, she really likes um, the country decorating. And in previous years, before she was married, um, she would decorate the upstairs for us and she would do that in a country theme. I think I've shared it before on some Christmas home tours. Um, so I don't know if she's going to actually, maybe she's gonna want this for her future home. I'm not sure, but my idea is to just sell it. I'm gonna sell it and see if I can start making some money off of some of the crafts that I create, such as wreaths and floral arrangements and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think. It's really big. Um, I don't know how big this wreath is, but I'd say it's every bit of, it, oh, it's probably at least, I don't know, maybe 28 inches in diameter, maybe even more. Anyways, I think that's going to be really cute. So when I um, make that, which will be really soon, I'm hoping that I'll be able to video it just to give you guys some inspiration. That is on my plan. It's on my radar. So um, I'll have to let you know how that goes. Yeah. So another thing I picked up at the same thrift store was they had these little ornaments. And I thought that they would go so well with that Santa Claus and that wreath and that whole, you know, country theme. They have these cute little birdhouses with a really rustic theme to them. 
three of them. They were $2.50 a piece. I did not think that is the best deal, but they were there. I thought they would look really cute, just randomly placed on the wreath. So I may use these as well. Okay, so another thrifted item I found, I thought this was such a great deal, you guys. So for, what was the price of these? So for $1.99 a piece, they had at the Goodwill these four of these brand new pine cone ornaments. They are non-breakable, shatterproof. I love that. But they are literally brand new, you guys. Tags on them and everything. Um, these are just so pretty. They have some sparkle to them. They're kind of a champagne, silver goldish type of a color, if you can see on film. So you guys know that I like to decorate a fall tree. Of course, I use a lot of traditional fall colors on that tree, um, but I have mixed it up before, but there have been times too where my, one of my Christmas trees ends up being more of um, an organic type of a vibe with like birds and bird nests and, and you know, sticks and stuff like that. So this will go great with a Christmas tree themed with that, that type of a vibe. So we'll see. I don't know if I'll use that these this year or not, but for $2 a piece, they're pretty heavy duty as well. I just think they are so pretty. Okay, so I have a couple of brand new things that I want to show you. So one of my favorite things that I like to do on a Christmas tree is to use bulb garlands because number one, it gives you, it just, it fills up so much space so easily. And I just, I love them. And you can find them in so many different colors and varieties. Hobby Lobby sells them. Michaels sells them. Well, I picked up. Now, granted, guys, I've got these all kind of together. So I don't have them separated for the video. But I picked up three of these garlands. And they are all in the pink color. So you can see I've got some like matte pink, some shiny pink, and some glittery pink. I picked these up at Home Goods. They were $17 a piece. And I think they are, let's see, they're six feet long. So I did pick up three of them. That's actually all they had. I probably would have picked up maybe one or two more if they would have had more. But as you can see, the room that we are in right now is my, what I call my tea room. Um, it's very, very, very feminine in here. Lots of pinks, as you can see. Lots of little girly, th like girly things. I mean, I've got tons of teacups in here and teapots in here. And so when I do a Christmas tree in here, it definitely has those same pink girly vibes. And so um, this is where I plan on using these this year. I just love these. Like I said, they make such a big, big statement and it just fills up so much space in such a super easy way. I highly recommend finding bulb garlands. I know people make them sometimes, but to be honest with you, that looks like a lot of work. <laughs> I don't know who has time for that. I just would like to buy them. <laughs> okay, a couple other things that I picked up brand new and is I picked up two table runners. So I picked up this one. I just think this is so, so beautiful. I picked it up at Home Goods. It was $19.99. Um, I don't know if you can actually see on film, but this background is not white. It's actually a really, really light pink. And then you can see that the poinsettia is, there is red, but there's also like an ombre effect with the pink. And I love the greens. So I plan on letting this kind of be a lot of my inspiration for in this room this year. I do plan on using this table runner in my tea room room, <laughs> tea room room. Anyway, so I just thought this was so beautiful. I thought it was very different. It does have a really cute trim with like a, that sagey type of green and the red like pom-pom fringe. Um, I just thought it was so pretty. It was so different. I like that it's kind of, you know, um, kind of um, vintage-y as well. And then I am going to use this next table runner in my dining room, which always has blue in it. I really think I'm gonna use this as my inspiration for this year's Christmas decorating in there. And it's this really pretty table runner that of course you see the background is the dark blue, but if you can see that the poinsettias have like a beadwork to them and there's the white poinsettias and the, the 
red poinsettias and I just love this. This one was $19.99 as well. And I just think it's so pretty. I love that it's got the light blue, the dark blue, it's got green, it's got white. I just think it's gonna look really pretty in my dining room. Okay, so the last thing that I want to show you guys, I, it came from a thrift store as well. Although I am putting this in my Christmas haul, I do feel like this is something that I would definitely use. Like I told you before, I, when I do a fall tree, um, but I'll show you why. Um, so it's this pack, this four pack, of these huge brown and gold themed, and there's even like a green color, I think, on some of them. Um, big, huge, shatterproof, love that, um, ornaments. These probably just came from, I think, either Members Mark, that came from Sam's Club. I don't know what year, but um, like I said, they almost look brand new to me. I paid $7.99 per pack. I got, like I said, two packs. This one and... this one if you can see but I love these this is another thing that I really enjoy on my Christmas trees I really enjoy using big like big big items um I just think that it just adds such fun personality when you have like some unexpected types of items on your Christmas trees and like using big huge bulbs and tucking them into the tree just adds so much dimension I just love the way that looks that's another one of my my favorite types of things to do on a Christmas tree so like I said even though I really feel that these would definitely go with the fall Christmas tree I still like I said if I decide this year to do one of my more like organic type of um, outdoorsy type of Christmas trees, I would use them as well. So I thought for $7.99 for the pack of four, that was pretty good. Okay, so that is actually all that I have to show you for this Christmas decor haul today. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Um, make sure that you guys stay tuned for all of my other upcoming Christmas videos. I cannot believe it is already November. Where does time go? It's just crazy it's crazy I just I don't know I'm also curious who is in the Christmas mood when do you guys plan on decorating so traditionally over the years um we when I was growing up we always decorated the day after Christmas I'm sorry the day after Thanksgiving always 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 but as I have gotten older and especially doing a YouTube channel I do tend to decorate a little bit earlier than that not nearly as early as some of these bigger YouTube channels like, I think some of these bigger YouTube channels have been decorated, like, for at least a month. I can't do that. I live in real time, and I want to enjoy the moment. I want to enjoy the season. I'm not that, that big at all of a YouTuber to be doing all that crazy stuff. But I'm glad that they do it because it's inspiration for all of us. Um, but anyway, I do try to bring it a little bit earlier. So I'm thinking that I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I'll start decorating maybe, maybe in about a week maybe one room, one room at a time. I don't, I'm, I'm trying to um, tone back my Christmas decorating. I told you that, that that I toned back my fall decorating. It might not be toned back to some of you out there, but for me it was toned back. So I plan on doing the same thing at Christmas. I don't wanna do too much. If I do too much, then it takes forever and it, it just becomes a lot of pressure instead. And I just wanna enjoy it. I just wanna enjoy the season. Um, but anyway, I am so curious to hear from you guys. Are y'all in the Christmas mood already? To me, I don't, it's just happening so quick that I don't feel like I'm really there yet. I did start putting on some Christmas music, hoping that it would inspire me. I have not watched any Christmas movies. As a matter of fact, I haven't even watched all of the fall movies I want to watch. So um, we also, um, my family and I had a Halloween dinner literally last night. So I'm filming this um, November 4th. So we had our Halloween dinner on November 3rd. So that should tell you how kind of slow we like to roll sometimes. So maybe I'll put up some pictures um, if I have any of, of what we did for Halloween. It was just a lot of fun. It was just, you know, me and my kids and there, and of course, Olivia's, she did get married. Um, by the time you see this video, I don't know if I will have showed you anything yet, 
but um, we'll be talking about that soon. So um, it was Olivia and her new husband, and then of course it was my daughter Ashlyn and her boyfriend, and so um, it was just a lot of fun. We played games, we, we just, everybody kind of had a potluck, but it was a lot of fun. But anyway, um, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have an absolutely blessed and wonderful day. Bye.